Ukraine has become the latest country to legalize cryptocurrencies, with Parliament there passing a series of rules governing their trading and also protecting against possible fraud. CNBC.com's Mackenzie Sigalas has the latest now from San Francisco. Mackenzie, a crucial part of this conversation is protection against fraud because we've seen uh, more than a few instances of that. Right, Tree. And because of that, the government is really highlighting this feature of the new legislation, saying that by making cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin legal, it will actually be safer for locals to invest. Because remember, up until now, dealing in crypto in the Ukraine has existed in a legal gray area. Also, by creating rules around Bitcoin, the country is, in effect, making it a more hospitable place for crypto-related businesses to operate. And that's a pretty big deal because authorities there have typically trended toward taking a combative stance when it comes to virtual currencies. And just taking a step back, it's important to keep in mind that Ukraine is the fifth country in as many weeks to lay down some ground rules for the cryptocurrency market, a sign that governments around the world think that Bitcoin is here to stay. Mackenzie, quick question for me. Day three of El Salvador adopting Bitcoin as legal tender, and you've been looking into the impact on money transfer companies. Right. So the government's new Bitcoin wallet allows for international, zero fee, virtually instantaneous transactions. And this is a game changer for a country where 70 percent of the population depends on money sent home from abroad in order to get by. Last year, the country's diaspora collectively sent nearly six billion dollars back to El Salvador. And a chunk of that money, of course, went to the transfer companies like Western Union that are facilitating those transactions. Now, the president of El Salvador says that the people are paying $400 million a year in commissions for remittances. And the country's new Bitcoin wallet makes that go away. There are no more international like, transfer fees if people operate within this, uh, within this new Bitcoin wallet that's been rolled out by the government. Back to you. Mackenzie, uh, big takeaway, and you were talking about this in uh, El Salvador, is really poverty alleviation, whether uh, Bitcoin as legal tender goes some way in uh, alleviating that.